Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition 2. In the last episode, we managed to get through the old expedition fairly unscathed. However, there wasn't a lot of gold picked up, and uh, we had a couple of our guys. Uh, we had, what, what are their names? Should we check them out? We had Derek Yeo and Bernard Hargier come to blows. I, I was given the opportunity to try and break it up, but I thought, you know what? Let boys be boys. Have a bit of a scuffle, bit of bit of a punchy kins together, see what happens, and, well, it, they haven't sorted anything out, so <laughs> that was a waste of time. But never mind, they're still here. I do feel like I'm probably going to lose one of them at some point, and I would say that they're both very much needed in the group at the moment. The sailor is our tank, and the cook cooks up the food of the animals we kill, which helps with sanity. We also managed last time to have a look at the tent, which has recently been introduced to the game. And it pretty much works like it used to work. So very happy with that, to the point where I would even consider taking less, if not no extra food items for sanity gain whatsoever if the tent is available from here on in. But we'll, we'll experiment with that the next time it comes open. This time around, we are looking at trying to find the stone circles in order to locate the treasure. And as you can see, we're ready to rock. We haven't explored this very large island as of yet. Uh, it does look like there, there is a way of getting around the full item without taking any of the uh, ferry ports, which I suspect are going to be around the island anyway. But uh, once more, it seems fairly one way so well we'll crack on and see what's what's going to happen so let's uh let's move uh we want to go mm, via jungle or shallow lake i think the lake is the way to go since we have the bonus for that and straight away we have a traveling salesperson i mean do we want to i don't think i've got anything i'd like to give away at the moment no he could have something new so i suppose <laughs> I only regret if I don't go and check it out. So let, let's let's see what he's got. Oh, and there's a question mark anyway. Or not, as the case may be. I'm not given the opportunity to at the moment. All right, well, never mind. We'll, we'll move to the roundabout. There's it's a shrine. Uh, okay. Guess that's the bug. Note to self, mention it to the developers. Uh, approach shrine. Let's, let's see what's going on. We arrived at a long forgotten shrine. The landscape was dotted with jagged boulders, like the peaks of a mountain, ready to erupt from the earth. I should not be here. Yeah, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Inside was a small empty chamber, a long hallway leading to the main altar. My eyes flitted to and fro, searching for traps. You know what? We we only need the one. I'm I'm confident. I'm confident. There we go. Picked up the bonus as well. Have a green for good measure. In a shadowy alcove, I noticed a brief glint of light shining from the gloom. Treasure! Let's have a look. What we earned? Pearls and a tribal artifact. I shall take it all. I stashed the treasure and considered my options. Well, we might as well go and have a look in the altar chamber. It would be rude not to. I considered the main chamber once more. Strange hieroglyphics seemed to indicate that taking the treasure here would cause great mountains to burst from the earth. Well, there's worse curses to have. Golden mask. I caramba! The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We hurried outside as the shrine crumbled and huge mountains erupted from the ground. How bad? Oh. Uh. Well, not super bad. Not super bad. I do think it might be worth popping back to the ship, though. We'll drop off the gold. And uh, then go and check out that little question mark. Can we get to that question mark still? Or are we properly cut off? Well, we can get to that question mark. However... Once we have got to that question mark, we can't get back again. So I think at this point, it probably makes more sense to go and check out that question mark first, and then we'll go back to the ship. We may have more goodies we can drop off there. Fascinating plants. We should run. And we found an ancient circle. Is it the one? Is it the one? I approached the first of the stone circles. According to the legend, the first piece of the map should be found here. Oh, so there's several. Pulling forth a large roll of paper that I had bought for this purpose, I studied the etchings on the stones and copied them carefully. My map was beginning to take shape. So we've got three to find. Right. Awesome. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a hit when it comes to going back through the plants. 
ouchie. That's all right, we can drop some stuff off. Uh, before we go back to the ship, though, let's just use the tribal artifact. And uh, they are a council of wise elders. Fascinating. Oh, look, everyone's not happy. Everyone's not happy. All right, so back to the ship. Okay, Captain greeted me as we approached the ship this morning. I felt homesick all of a sudden and wondered how much longer I would need to stay out here. A little bit longer at the very least. But firstly, let's drop off the pearls and those bits too. The rest were good. And let us rest. I found a convenient camping pitch. The air was fresh and cool as we prepared the campfire. Derek Yeo showed a surprising talent that night. Using clever hand positions and the light of the fire, he composed a comedic story from the movement of shadow figures. Oh, he's trying to charm everyone. The wise owl shook her head and grinned at the foolish fox. Yeah, you probably don't want to be pointing the gun at the cook. I know you guys aren't getting on too well anyway. By the end of the evening, my stomach hurt from laughter, and I had a newfound fondness for Yeo. Ha! Tell another! So, how do we look? 110. After days of resting, we still enjoy the comfort of the ship. Nevertheless, I was under the impression that the captain was becoming irritated by our stopover. You know what? We're going to rest once more. It was a warm and starry night. Captain Newton Catley had an unexpectedly fruit-related question for me. Which do I like better, mangoes or red berries? Right, I presume we're going to be gifted with some food at this point. Uh, I would usually go for mangoes because they have slightly higher sanity gain, but they do perish rather quickly. So I'm going to say red berries. I choose the red berries. The little sweet and tasty snacks were the ones I liked the most that night. Two lots of. I mean, it's only 10 sanity, but it'll help. It'll help. And hopefully that will take us all the way up to max. Yes, 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 yes. Right, so let's get out of here. Back to the expedition. Righty, so down to the next question mark. Uh, the traveller has disappeared. The travelling salesperson. Ooh. To victory. To victory. Uh, let's approach. Before me lay the wreckage of another Trek's campsite. Human remains were strewn about the camp, tri triggering a sense of danger. All right, well, let's have a look. See, I mean, we got plenty of green dye. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yes. No bonus though. I stopped the trek to begin a thorough search for the camp. Gratifyingly, I found something of value to justify the risk. Uh, animal scent and some seashells. I mean, they're tradable items, so it's all good. We haven't found our goal yet. Very true, very true. Let's go and check out the salamanders. There may be, yeah, thought so, something going on around there. Ah, oh, it's the ferry. Let's approach the natives. Who were these people? They reminded me of salamanders, yet they walked upright like we humans do. And I could see wisdom in their eyes. Incredible. So we can ask about the salamanders. I'm, I'm willing to give them a gift at this point. Because we can offload all the animal scents. Ooh, they really like those. Standing of plus four. I'll take that. Anticipating further contact with these people, I offered a gift. They accepted it gladly. Surprise and warmth showing on their faces. So we are plus four. Awesome. Can't see it lasting long, but never mind. I did not want to strain their hospitality further. The natives bid us farewell, and soon we were alone in the wilderness once more. Very alone. Where, where's my trek? Where's the rest of my trek party? They haven't gone that far away either. I can see their tails. Right. So, not too fussed by going to that. Uh, however, let's go and check out what that is. A mission. We'll have a word. Don't think we need him for much. We entered the mission and were welcomed by an old missionary. He was seemingly happy to see new faces, as he had been alone for longer than he cared to remember. Well, we've got nothing to drop in the storage room, so let's go straight to trading. The missionary returned with some of his supplies. Uh, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. I'm... 
and very happy to not bother. We said our farewells and he prayed for us. New discoveries await. Awesome. However, uh, let's eat some berries. Just to free up a space. And let us go to there. I mean, a question mark in the tar. What could it be? Elephant graveyard, maybe? More stones? Or shaman hut? Okay, well, I'm sure there's there'd be better places to pop a hut down rather than in the middle of tar, but the salamanders. We approached a peculiar hut. A native shaman beckoned us inside. Their wild-eyed st stare boring into us from the shadows. What do we need cleansing for? The shaman was willing to offer their services, but demanded remuneration in f up front. They promised that after their ritual, the patient would be cured of any evil spirits. So we've got hate. Oh. Superstitious. Okay. So with that being taken, what the hell is that? Obsidian skull. A mysterious artifact that pulses with a dark power. What do you do? Devour soul. Oh my life. Uh, and terror of the skull. Interesting. I mean, it's a blue die. You could argue we're short on the blue die. Hmm. What would I swap out there if I went for that? I mean, Shetty helps us get through jungles. I presume it's a hand. Yeah. So he's good with a gun. The pistol isn't the best, in all fairness. I think I might get it in favour for the pistol. Just to give it a whirl. I mean, how much? 140? All right. Um, 55. I don't, think, I don't think I'll even be able to do it if, even if I wanted to. That's ridiculous. I mean, hmm. Uh, I might just have a mushroom. I mean, I'd love to buy it. I'd, I don't think I'd even get close. Um, so the gun. The shells. <laughs> We're so far off. We're so far off. It's ridiculous. I mean, he really likes his skull. He really likes his skull. No, we're, we're, we're all right. We're all right. Uh, we will trade, though. Uh, I'll go and grab uh, the, uh, the one mushroom. <laughs> For the uh, shells, what they do? No. No, no, no. How about a shovel? Really? Doesn't like the shovels. A torch? Okay. After some negotiating, I made a deal with the shaman. Right, let's get out of here. He charges way too much. Way too much. Right, we're going to use the mushroom. Let's get rid of the superstitious trait. He started muttering God knows what and crawling on the ground. We've all been there. All right, and down to the next question mark. Covered in tar. Never mind. We'll get it washed off in a second. And we have a shrine. It's looking very rocky around here. Looks like we're going to have to take down... Are they hyenas? Two hyenas. Okay. Let's do this. We stood before a temple comprised of huge stones. The landscape was dotted with jagged boulders like the peaks of mountains ready to erupt from the earth. Inside was a small empty chamber with lots of traps. Let's give it a roll. Boom. Just about. Better loot. I'm all for better loot. Shifting the scattered debris in my search, I uncovered a hole in the floor just large enough to fit inside. In the gloom beneath, I could see another chamber. Let's do it. Oh, just about. 
I lowered myself into the hole, landing lightly on my feet in the hidden area below. My ankle is obviously better. I found myself among the ruined remains of an arcanist workshop that had been destroyed in some kind of fire. Perhaps something here could still be salvaged. Totem sticks. No one will come closer if we have them on us. Why not? Okay, into the altar chamber. I considered the main chamber once more. Strange hieroglyphics seem to indicate that taking the treasure here would cause great mountains to burst from the earth. Uh, another gold face. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to quake. We hurried outside as the shrine collapsed and huge mountains erupted from the ground. Please don't block me off. Oh! Didn't really make much difference. However, we are going to have to take on the hyenas. So let's move to there. 65% chance. We'll take them down. We'll eat their meat. And then we'll see how we are for sanity. So they are surprised. Uh, let's roll. Not bad. Uh, right, we're going to do... We're going to do a cracking wallop with the old donkey kick. Oh, that's a shame. It's only a little bit off. That's fine. That's fine. Pop. And then uh, we shall do fisticuffs on this one. And then we shall stabby stab the other one. Twice. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Cool. A little bit of meat. Yeah, I'll take it all. Are we overburdened? No. Right, so cook the meat up. Eat the meat. 26. Yeah, we're going to have to rest up, I think. Although we've got chocolate. We might as well use it, I suppose. You know, I'm saying we're going to rest up. I don't have a tent, do I? <laughs> we're going to eat the chocolate. We have no other choice. Let's get to the other side of this question mark. Oh, second set. I entered a ring of stones for a second time on my journey. Immediately I saw that the second piece of the map was carved into the stones here, just as anticipated. Noise. Just there. I carefully marched, marched. I carefully matched my sketches from the first circle to the new sketch, filling in several blank areas. My map was one step closer to completion. Ooh, it looks like we're going up onto a bit of a plateau now. Get a good lay of the land. Oh, we're at a burial ground. Uh, I suspect that is going to be a ferry port, so I'm not too fussed about getting to that. Yeah, it's going to be a ferry port. Uh, so we might as well search this and carry on going down south. I approach what seemed to be a sacred burial ground of the locals. I felt an uneasy shiver run down my spine. I had heard stories of the consequences of disturbing sacred ground. We better use a shovel then. Oh, it's a mummy. Mysterious mummy. As I turned to leave, a spectral figure rose from the ground. The ghosts of the disturbed dead had risen to take vengeance. Oh dear. Okay, well. Fight we do then. Just the one? Wow. No. Three. Okay. Let's do what we can do. So uh, we need to come and get it. Uh, we're definitely not going to survive this. So let's throw that in to get a bit more damage up. So we've got our taunt on. Uh, we'll go for the vulnerability, I think. Oh, they both got the good ones. That's worth eight. Three and a... Three and a stun. How many die do these guys have on them? No idea. Looks like we're going to take those down though. So, uh, unless we just put a stun on them all. That might be the way to go. If we put a stun on that one and that one. And then we'll work on the bottom one since he has the vulnerability. Uh, so, Haymaker. Can't throw anything else in. That's annoying. 22. 
So we should be able to finish them off. Nice. I mean, they're ghosts. They should die pretty easy. 13. We'll roll. I mean, I'm not expecting too much. Bit of a cutty cut. Let's do this. All right. We're good. We're good. What's his weakness? Reduces attack damage by 50%. Absorbs 20 damage. Okay. So let's... Let's stun this guy again. And we'll keep hitting the other guy. So... Uh, cracking Wallop for 14. 24... 34. Pop! And stunned again. We'll finish him off just in case. I, I don't. I want to play a bit safe, so he is gone. Uh, we'll hold on to those two and roll again, I suppose. Nice. So, are they both precision shots? No. Right, so let's do that with one of those in. Boom! We deprive the remains of anything useful. I ain't afraid to no ghosts. Ooh! Spiny urchin. We'll take it all. And, uh, well. Hyenas. Gotta be done. We need the meat, so let's go down. Twenty-five, just the one. It's only going to be one piece of meat. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. So bang, 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 dead. The biggest hit in history. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Nice. Now we're getting close. Eighteen. I think at this point, I'm going to have to eat. All the chocolates. Oh, another ferry port. So I. Ooh. Well, can't do much more. Got to carry on. I mean, we've taken down everything we could possibly have taken down. So the sanity thing is is an issue, but. Not something I can do anything about, really. Uh, as it turns out, we've got a bit of respite here, which is good. Everyone was relieved to arrive at the Oasis, a shining beacon of hope in the midst of this desolate region. How are we doing for water? We're out. So, another five of those won't go amiss. We settled down and I told the people to rest. It was a pitch black night as we sat and stared into the fire. Spirits were low that night, but when I saw a golden glimmer in the distance, I felt obliged to investigate. Wearily, I asked Derek Eo and Bernard Harje to take a look. Oh, dear. Bernard Harje chose to thwart my will. Trembling, he refused to go with Derek Eo, seemingly strangely disturbed by my request. Well, I know you guys don't get on. I can't send just the one guy by himself. Both of you go. Go! I would not tolerate disobedience in my expedition. I ordered, I ordered Bernard Hardier to put his personal grievances aside and do as he was told. Quietly, he acquiesced. They had been gone for some time and I was considering going out to search when I heard footsteps approaching in the dark. Derek Eo was the first to step into the light, approaching with an uncanny smile on his face. Bernard Hardier followed, holding his arm, which was covered in blood. Oh dear. I demanded to know what happened, still with that strange smile. Derek Eo held out a golden object. Bernard Harjay simply backed away, refusing to speak. Oh, it was worth it then. Despite my frantic questioning, neither party would ever speak of what happened that night. I suppose it would forever remain a mystery. Maybe the cook tried to rob it and Derek Eo was having none of it. Good thing we got medicine, so I'm not too fussed by that. As long as he hasn't died. He could, uh, we could easily have spent weeks resting here. Good, because we're going to rest a little bit longer. Uh, this was a good place, and I was sure I would get some well-deserved rest here. Our progress today had been good, and we were in good spirits. Letting the mood take him, Derek Eo started singing loudly. 
Unable to resist, I joined him myself, and a few moments later... Or in a few moments later... By the time we finished, we were out of breath, but light of heart. When we finally got to bed that night, it was with a sense of warm camaraderie and a readiness for adventure. Oh, nice. A bit of extra sanity. It's all good. So, we're running low on chocolate. I think it makes sense to get to full sanity at this point. I was sitting close to the campfire when Derek Eo walked up to Captain Newton Catley. He smiled and explained that he had found something for Newton Catley. Captain was excited when Derek pulled out three beautiful and shiny pearls and handed them over to him. I knew they were quite valuable. Hmm. You keep them. You keep them. It was a really nice evening. I was happy to see my Trek members so closely together. We spend the rest of the night sitting together around the fire and having splendid conversations. Except the cook. The cook is not happy. And with that, we should be at full sanity. Awesome. And uh, we are done. Now, how injured? What do we have here? Oh, Tar, that's fine. How injured are you? Not that injured. You are still injured, but that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll use a medipack. But with only four health off your top health, I'm not too worried. Ooh. Oh, oh. Without access to medical equipment, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. Bernard Hargier's wound had begun to fester and secrete an astonishing degree of pus. Oh, well, good thing we've got some medikits on us. All done. Everyone's good. That's 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 a lot of that's a lot of desert. Let's um let's keep to the edge for a second. See if we can get a better lay of the land. So we've got a ferry port. I mean it looks like as soon as we've crossed it we wouldn't need to use any more water up. So I'm quite happy just to have a quick jaunt across. So we've got elephants and hyenas. Hyenas? Yeah. Whoa! Right. Pretty darn close. Seven left. Let's kick him. Tip top. So let's cook that meat up and eat it. 84. And uh, go and check out what this question mark is. We're, we're going to leave the elephant alone. We've had our running with the elephants already. No need to do that again. Although we may actually end up upsetting them anyway. This foreboding place was situated in the midst of a swamp. Strewn with the remains of long dead elephants. Many generations of the majestic creatures had come here to die. Oh, it's, it's an elephant tusk. As I took the tusk, I remembered a lesson I had learned long ago. Elephants have a keen sense of smell and a perfect memory. I would do well to avoid the beasts in the future. Oh. All right. Well, let's do it. It's just the one. I feel fine. I feel fine. Uh, are we going to... Oh, I don't like that die. I prefer the red. Let's see how much damage we can do. 24. Sit down. Right, so... Um, just one aim shot. Yeah, let's... Um, let's re-roll. Now we're going to throw you in as well. That's better. So, you and you for 18. These are all separate still, aren't they? Let's get the taunt up just in case. Oh. There we go. Because I feel we're not going to take him down this round. I mean, we're close, but 
No cigar. It's all down to Donkey. Hey ho. Come on then. Oh no, surprise. Awesome. We'll just finish with the old stabby stabs, I think. No need to overcomplicate things. Awesome. So I'm presuming another, yeah, another tusk. Oh, three meat. That's good. That is good. So where's my meat? Where's my meat? There it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. Only five sanity. What level are you, cook? Level three? You're not a very good cook. You're not a very good cook. Right, so 92. Let's carry on. Uh, we've got some dire wolves. Let's move to here. We should be able to see into the mountains by that point. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a lot there. The dire wolves are on our butt at this point. Can we sneak a look around there? Ooh, there is a question mark. You know what? I'm intrigued. Let's go and have a look. I fear it's probably going to be a ferry port. Oh no, it's the, it's the last stone. Okay. Fine. However, I want to see what this is. So let's give the, uh, the wolves the old okie doke. Oh no. He hunted us down. Blast! Damn and blast! Okay, I'm just going to go all out on this guy, I think. That's right. Don't go messing. Now we're overburdened. Right, so, meat. Cook you up, eat you. We'll finish off the chocolate. And that's us done. Right, so, off to the question mark. Let's go and have a look. Ugh. Don't need that. <laughs> Back to the stones. And I mean, we've covered everything. It, it's all completely... No, I'm not dropping anything. It's all completely open. We couldn't have done any more. The purple fog, fog is claiming... The seas around the island. Now's a good time to scarper. My heart began to beat fast as I come to the final stone circle. I was almost finished. Huzzah. At long last, my map was complete. I could not wait to return to Paris and plan my next expedition to recover the treasure. Onward. And we made it. Awesome. So, uh, our sailor's up to top level. Got a fair few expo tickets off that. Brought back a lot of provisions. Better safe than sorry, I suppose, when it comes to those bits. Lots of shells. Don't think they're worth too much. Don't appear to be worth too much. But hey-ho. Might take a second to get through all of those. Keep them coming. Can I speed this up? I haven't even tried. There we go. Get through all those. There we go. Off they come. That's it. That's what we're all about, the treasures. Look at all those treasures. Pushing up the points. Mummies, pearls, tusks. It's all there. Golden llamas. Awesome. Oh, we've got a new unlock as well. And we get to choose from War Chest. That's free combat. Free combat items for each island. Interesting. Uh, stealth for aggro. Or Climber. Climber items for each island. Do I want that? I mean, I am just going through them all and seeing what, what they open up. The, the new ones I haven't used before. And I haven't used that one, so why not? War chest, let's do it. I returned to Paris and the grounds of the Exposition Universelle. It was good to be back. And I think that is where we shall leave this episode. We have made it. Uh, we've got money to spend at the start of the next one couldn't be in a better place really so thank you for watching as always a like is appreciated and i'll catch you on the next one take it easy